Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and welcome to one of the first question videos that I will be recording. Um, I had intentions of probably just doing it part of my regular blog, um, vlog, I should say. Um, but I feel like if I have the time to do it without, or if I have the ability to do it without my regular vlog, um, then I will. And this one is uh, one of those times. So uh, the question. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to read them verbatim because this one gave a lot of kind of details and I don't really want to get into details of personal pe of people's business as in like putting their, their personal business out there. Um, unless maybe you specify to read it because this one didn't, but I didn't, I guess I wasn't very, I don't know. This is new. <laughs> so we're working out, I'm working out the kinks, but, um, I felt, I feel like this one is a don't read the whole thing. Um, but essentially what this one was asking me, um, this question is asking me is, um, dating a drag queen. So, um, what is some tips? Well, the, the, the story goes, um, this person's interested in dating someone who is a drag queen who, um, he, I guess just found out it was a drag queen and said recently found out, um, that he does drag and has seen him in drag before and thinks he's pretty, um, however, comma, um, never has dated a drag queen before. So, uh, what, what do I think about it? How do I, how do you approach it? Um, any advice for dating a drag queen? <laughs> do I? Um, so let's start off first. First things first, um, if you are interested in someone who does drag, um, I would be clear about who you're dating first. Um, I would be clear about their intentions as to why they do drag or um, what their what this is all about because sometimes um, sometimes it happens that that person may be using drag as an outlet um, when in fact they want to be a female and that's not all the case that's not all the time however it does happen so if you're um, not interested in in dating a woman or or you know dealing with a transsexual um, and I say dealing with because it it, it, it is a thing um, then you need to know that up front um, if the person just does it as a show thing you've seen you said you've seen the person perform so the person does perform um, is it just the show thing is it just for show is it just the gig that they signed up for um, is it just something that they do as a creative outlet, much like myself, and can't wait to get this stuff off uh, once they get home? Um, so find out what you're getting yourself into. Like, you know, don't pry, but definitely kind of fill it out and make sure that it's something that you're willing to deal with um, because it is a lot of work um, in any direction. Um, so after you establish what you're dealing with, I would then um, state your intention. Um, do you want to date this person? Do you want to just be friends with this person? Put yourself in that zone because if you do not, um, if you, I, for me myself, I found that if you, you, you can be, it can be very confusing when someone's interested um, and showing you attention and they are just interested in being friends or they're interested in showing you attention and then you, we can take it for more than what it is. Um, so it's very important to establish what your intentions are first, or uh, second, because um, you don't want to end up in the friend zone if that is not what you want, if that's not where you want to be. Um, and so establish that. Let let it be known that, that hey, you're, you know, serious about it. Um, third, I don't know why I'm putting my numbers, but I feel like it's a thing. You have to be very confident within your relationship or within this friendship, or within whatever it is that's going to be built. Um, as drag queens, and uh, I don't want to like single anybody out, but as drag drag queens who have fans, have drag queens who do performances, which you said this person does, um, there's people that uh, still look at them as the object um, of entertainment. Looks at them as, um, you know, they're going to have conversations with people. You won't be priority one. Um, I've lot, I, I've, I've had many of uh, friendships, um, demise because of the amounts of, or lack of, uh, conversations or moments you can have to yourselves while at the club or while, while around groups of people that know you or, or know 
me or know the queen because you know people want to talk people want to take pictures people want to um, expect you to kind of like be social and if that is something you cannot deal with in dating a drag queen then that is something that you need to deal with up front uh, maybe not go out with the person in public to to social events as such or if you go go with you know your own group of friends um but don't get jealous um now don't get me wrong that's not a free pass for the drag queens um to act all crazy and um you know they they also need to maintain their uh canter with other people if you're in a relationship you should treat it as such you shouldn't lead people to believe otherwise i feel like that's a that's a thing um for some people um i feel like if you are in a committed relationship then you should act like it um again and that's not necessarily not being social and not saying hi not taking pictures and not greeting people and all that fun stuff but i don't believe it's you know a as drag queens um sometimes we get groped sometimes we are you know objects of you know touchy feely smacking on the butts things like that but i also feel like if you receive that that does not necessarily mean you have to give it back um and it's not a free pass um and it's 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 you got to respect your relationship as well so if you end up in a relationship with a drag queen Make sure there's some, you know, some boundaries, knowing that there will be some times that things might get a little out of control. Again, that's not a hall pass. That's not a free pass to go and do any drag queen or, or, or to, you know, be grabbing on anybody or, or doing anything inappropriate that you wouldn't, well, I didn't say you wouldn't do, but that isn't appropriate ultimately what it comes down to you got to have a level of respect um but i many a times you know walking through the club even getting a smack on the ass is sometimes a, it just couldn't be disrespectful to some people um but you have to understand that that's kind of part of the territory turf of the being a drag queen um and again this is especially in fresno scene because everyone it's a small community so everyone kind of knows each other um and so that's uh, you know, it, it just kind of works out in that way. Um, as far as like the drag itself, like the makeup and whatnot, um, you, uh, again, everyone, every different strokes for different folks. Um, you <sighs> set some boundaries, know what you're getting yourself into. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, um, you know, I'll, some, a lot of the drag queens that I speak to, those who are just coming for the gig, um, don't like to do anything, mess around in drag. So, um, if that's a concern of yours, they probably already have a preference. Um, some queens do like to mess around in drag. Some people, um, you know, it, it's just a thing. Um, and some people, you know, it, it's just not. So, you know, establish those types of things. Um, but I really feel like you have to be... Uh, supportive as well you cannot make it a thing that you're upset about the person doing a gig going out to do drag going out to the club in drag it it can't be um, especially if you're getting into the situation knowing that that person is a drag queen you cannot hold it against them later you can't uh, make it be a thing that oh well you're you're always in drag or something like that you know what you're getting yourself into and sometimes um, you got to be a little more fierce a little more often um, and so sometimes you know the drag might happen three times a week and you got to be flexible with that because again it's something you signed up for um, and I think that that's important um, if you are comfortable with the drag and you're comfortable with you know being a public displays of affection know that bitches were going to be coming for you um it has been many a times that people uh and again this is just speaking from my experience in my situations many a times that you know even me just spending quality time or uh, more time than not with people in my personal life um not out even in the scene just who i have over and who i go places with um, people tend to start buzzing. People start to uh, talk and people start to chit chatter and people will put some strain on your friendship, your relationship or whatever a case may whatever the case may be. You have to know that whatever you guys have going on is what you guys have going on because people will talk. That's what they do. 
um, especially again in this community. Um, and I say this community meaning F Fresno. Um, and so I, I, you just have to make sure that you have your, um, you're very clear about what, what it is and not let people penetrate for lack of better words on um, what you guys have going on. If you're out in public, uh, guarantee that again, like I, what I was trying to say is people will be coming for you. People, girls, guys, anyone that I don't, I don't know the queen in question. So anyone that's no tea, no shade. Anyone that's established as a drag queen who who is well known, who has a following or fans of some sort, know that uh, if you're with someone, there's going to be always someone who wants to be getting at that person, even just out of spite to be getting at that person because they know they're your friend. Many a times, I these little hairs. I swear to God, um, many times I've been out with friends, not even friends like boyfriends just friends and queens will swarm girl crossing over like with the eye contact swooping trying to get the attention of whomever i'm with and will bump I, i'm asking i've seen not only queens guys who act like queens do this they'll bump people um, and so you just got to be aware that all this kind of comes with the territory. Um, uh, and, you know, maybe this doesn't happen for everybody. Again, I'm speaking from my experiences, but it's a true thing. <laughs> um, it's real. It, bitches be thirsty. Bitches be thirsty. Um, and, you know, I mean, if you're hot, then rightfully so. I mean, they might not be thirsty just because you're with the queen. They might be thirsty just because you're the catch of the day. But nonetheless... Um, hot trade on the deck, they're coming for you. And especially, I, I don't, be careful. Um, but as, be supportive. If you're getting into it, you know what's happening, be supportive. It's really, really hard for a drag queen, a performer, a, a, a transsexual, uh, anyone who has an alternative lifestyle, gay boys included, to find someone who's truly down for who they are. Usually they're too flamboyant. Usually they're too this, they're too that. It's really hard to find any relationships in the gay community, but for a drag queen or a performer or an entertainer or a tranny, um, excuse me, I can't say tranny, forgot. Um, for a transsexual, um, it's even harder because you have to really accept both parts of the, of the person um, and, and be open to that idea. Um, and, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are not, um, luckily for you, you can see past all the pounds of makeup and wigs that people might be wearing to, you know, put a show on. And so that's a wonderful thing. Don't lose that. Um, and just be prepared. There's going to be names, Tranny Chaser being one of them. Again, we can't use Tranny, so that's so un-PC. Um, so shady and so rude, um, right? Um, but be prepared for those names. Tranny Chaser, um, you dra drag queens, anything that they can get to you with, they will try. And you, again, just got to maintain your shit. You got to hold on tight and ride the ride because um, we are great. <laughs> I act like we're a special species, but we kind of are. Um, but like we're great people. Um, ultimately, what it comes down to, um, you know, it's to me, from my perspective, it's a it's an outlet for my creativity. It's an outlet for who um, the, the show diva in me. Um, I've always been a performer. I've always been sharp wit. Um, and it's just a way for me to get it out. Um, and again, I can't wait to get this stuff off when it's time to get it off, like take it all off type stuff. Um, so so just know that that's that's what you're dealing with. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any further questions, email me back. Maybe I can add some more to this or whatever. But for now, thank you guys for watching. This has been a question. I don't know. I don't even have a name for this thing. Um, but anyways, if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns um, similar to this or maybe completely opposite or otherwise, um, send them to me. I opened an, uh, I started an email for this particular reason. Questions at divax.net or any comments or any of my Facebooks, send me messages. Time is running out and thank you for watching. Bye.